guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Sir Mark. And in this video, I'm going to discuss sequence which will focus on generating pattern. Well, actually, this is the first topic that you're going to encounter in quarter 1 uh, for Math 10. But before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and Learn Math with Sir Mark. Let's begin! Okay, so let's define first what is sequence. Okay, it is an ordered list of numbers that often follow a specific pattern or function. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So the instruction here is, write the first five terms of the sequence given the formula for its nth term. Again, mayroon tayong uh, equation or function. We're going to determine uh, the first five terms. So to do that, Okay, so I'm going to let uh, n equals 1. So if n is 1, so my a sub 1 or my first term will be 2 times 1 minus 1 or simply 1. See that? Similarly, if n is 2, okay, so that will be a sub 2 or my second term. So that is 2 times 2 minus 1, that will be uh, 3. See that? Okay. Continuing it, so if n is 3, so that will be my third term, or a sub 3, that will be 2 times 3, minus 1, or 5. Okay? Next, if n is 4, okay, so that will be a sub 4, or my fourth term, that is 2 times 4, minus 1, and that is 7. And lastly, if n is 5, okay, so that will be my fifth term, that is 2 times 5 minus 1 equals 9. There you go. So since we're just after for the 5 terms, first 5 terms, so so the answer in this problem is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. See that? Okay. Actually, this is the first 5 terms or the first 5 uh, add numbers. Okay? Next. So, same instruction, we are after for the, uh, for the first five terms of this, okay? So, again, like what we did in the first example, so if n is 1, okay, if n is 1, that would be negative 2 raised to 1 minus 1, okay, that would be 0. And we all know uh, negative 2 raised to 0 is 1. See that? If n is 2, that would be negative 2 raised to 2 minus 1, that is 1, okay? And negative 2 raised to 1 is negative 2. Okay, so I already have my first two terms, 3 more, okay? So if n is 3, that will be negative 2 raised to 3 minus 1 or 2. And we all know a negative number raised by an even, okay, which is 2, this will give you uh, 4, right? So my third term is 4. Okay, if n is 4, if n is 4, so that will be negative 2 raised to 4 minus 1, that will be 3. And since at the end, automatically, my sign will become negative. So that's simply negative 2 raised to 3, so that will be negative 8. Okay, negative 8. And lastly, my fifth term, actually, yung fifth term natin, uh, I'll just write it here. Okay, if n is 5. Okay, if n is 5, that will be negative 2 raised to 5 minus 1 or 4. Again, so since even yan, that will be positive 2 raised to 4 or 16. There you go. Again, the answer in this problem. So, uh, these are the first five terms of the given function. Okay? Next. Okay, same instruction but medyo uh, lang ng konti. So, we are after... Uh, for the first five terms, so like what we did, okay, I'm not going to write the solution in detail, okay, so the first term actually, so if n is 1, that will be 4 plus 3 or 7, see that, then 3 plus 4 times 1 or 7, 7, or se 7 over 7 or 1, okay, so meron na kong 1, okay, next, if n is 2, okay, if n is 2, so this will become 4 plus 3 times 2, or 6. So that will become 10. Can you follow? Next, if n is 1, uh, 2, I mean, so that will be 8 plus 3, so that will become 
11. Okay. Next, if n is 3, so this one will become 9 plus 4. So my numerator will become 13. Okay. And for my denominator, that will become 12 plus 3 or 15. Actually, uh, you will see the pattern here. Okay. If I'm going to originally, yung 1 na yan. Okay. So that's 7 over 7, right? Okay. Look. So, yung numerator ko, so, nag increase ka ng 3, right? So, you can now actually, uh, you can say that the, the fourth term is 16 over, now look, the denominator, nag add lang ng 4, so, this one will become 19, right? And lastly, so, add ako ng 3 again sa numerator, that will become 19, and I'm going to add 4 on the denominator, and that will give you 23, Okay? So this, uh, these are the first five terms of the given uh, formula for the nth term. Okay, next, problem number four. Okay, so same instruction, we're after for the first five terms. Okay, so kaya lang may condition. If n is odd, you're going to follow this. If n is even, you're going to follow uh, the second uh, function. Okay, so since we're after for the first five terms, so kapag add daw, automatically 3. Okay? So, therefore, my first, my third, and my fifth term are all equal to 3. Kasi add. See that? Okay. If even, okay, if n is even, so that's simply 3 times 2 minus 1, that will be 5. Okay? So, this is my second term. The second term is 5. And lastly, okay, same, if n is 4, alright, if n is 4, so, that will be 12 minus 1 or 11. See that? Okay. So, these are the first five terms of the given uh, formula or function. Okay. Next, problem number five. Okay. So, uh, same instruction. If n is 1, okay. If n is 1, okay. I'll make a detailed solution here. If n is 1, that will be negative 1 raised to 1 plus 1, or 2. See that? All over, 1 plus square root and 1. And we know this one is 1, negative 1 to be squared is 1. Okay, square root of 1 is 1. Okay, plus 1. Therefore, the first term is uh, 1 half. Okay, the first term is 1 half. Okay. Next. So, if n is 2, okay, if n is 2, so that will be, okay, so negative 1 raised to 2 plus 1, that will become 3, right, all over 1 plus square root of 2. Okay, so I'm not going to rationalize it, okay, I'll stick to my denominator, that is 1 plus square root of 2, but my numerator will become negative 1, okay. Next, if n is 3, okay, if n is 3, so that will be uh, negative 1 raised to an even number, right? So that will become positive. See that? That will become positive 1 over 1 plus square root of 3, okay? Next, my fourth term, if n is 4, that will be Okay, so negative 1 raised to, uh, raised to an odd number. So therefore, magiging negative yan. Okay, so 1 plus square root of 4. So that will be negative 1 over, we know square root of 4 is 2. So therefore, the fourth term will become negative 1 third. And lastly, for the fifth term, okay, for the fifth term, that is uh, negative 1 raised to to 5 plus 1, so that will be even, okay? So, automatically, positive na yan. So, I'll just, okay, copy this, positive, positive na yan. And then, my denominator will be 1 plus square root of 5. Okay, see that? Again, the first 5 terms of this sequence uh, are 1 half, negative 1 over 1 plus square root of 2. Okay. 1, the third term is 1 over 1 plus square root of 3. The fourth term is negative 1 third. And lastly, the fifth term is 1 over 1 plus square root of 5. See that? Again, alternating yung sign mo. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay? 
Example number 6. A sequence is defined by the recurrence relation a sub n plus 2 equals a sub n plus 1 plus a sub n, where both a sub 1 and a sub 2 are equal to 1. The question is, find the next four terms of the sequence. Okay, as mentioned in the problem, the first two terms are both equal to 1. And we are looking for the next four terms. See that? Okay, so to, to get the next term or the third term, so we let n equals 1. Okay, so that is, this, uh, this will become a sub 1 plus 2 or a sub 3 for the third term is equal to a sub 1 plus 1 or a sub 2 plus a sub 1. So in short, you're just adding the first two terms. So that is 1 plus 1 that will give you 2. See that? Next, to get the fourth term, okay, so let n equals 2. So that will be a sub 2 plus 2 or a sub 4. That is uh, a sub 3 plus a sub 2. Okay? As I mentioned earlier, so it's just like adding the, the preceding two terms. Okay? So that is 1 plus 2 that will give you 3. Okay? See that? Next, to get the fifth term, so I'm going to let n equals 3. That is, the fifth term is just the sum of the fourth term and the third term. So that is uh, 2 plus 3, that will give you 5. Okay? And lastly, so to get the 6th term, uh, let n equals 4. That simply, a sub 6 is equal to the 5th term plus the 4th term. And that is 3 plus 5, that's equal to 8. See that? Actually, okay, these are the first 6 terms of the famous Fibonacci Okay, sequence. Kung familiar kayo dyan, okay? Fibonacci sequence. Okay, again, a Fibonacci sequence. So, the term is the result by adding the, uh, the previous two, okay? Except for the first two terms. So, as mentioned in the problem, the first two terms are both equal to 1. And actually, you can predict the next term here will become 13, okay? Then 13 plus 8 will become 21 and so on. See that? Okay. Example number 7. If a sub n equals 2 raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 1, find a sub 0 given that a sub 5 equals 2 raised to 6. Okay. So, uh, using this equation, okay, uh, since what we have here is a sub 5, I'm going to start by letting n equals 5. That is, this one will become a sub 5, okay, equals 2 raised to 5 minus 1, or 2 raised to 4, plus a sub 5 minus 1, or a sub 4. But we know, okay, given yung a sub 5, which is uh, 2 to the 6, which is 64, that is simply 64, okay, equals uh, 2 to the 4 is 16, plus a sub 4. See that? And from here, okay, we can say a sub 4 is 64 minus 16 or uh, 48. See that? 48. Okay, now, uh, I already have a sub 4, so meaning I'm going to let n equals 4. Okay, so from here, following again this formula, this one will become a sub 4 equals 2 raised to 4 minus 1. Alright, so that will be 2 raised to 3 plus a sub 4 minus 1 or a sub 3. Okay, similarly, gaya nung ginawa natin kanina dito, so since meron na akong a sub 4, which is 48, that's equal to 2 cube or 8 plus a sub 3. And from here, makukuha ko ngayon yung third term mo. Okay? So that is 48 minus 8, that is 40. See that? Okay, now you have a sub 3. I'm going to let n equals 3. Alright, so therefore, 
this one will become a sub 3 equals 2 raised to 3 minus 1 or 2 squared plus a sub 3 minus 1 or a sub 2. Again, like what we did, so since meron ka ng value ng a sub 3 or that's 40, okay, that's equal to 2 squared or 4 plus a sub 2. And from here, ang second term natin is simply 40 minus 4 or 36. See that? Okay, so a sub 2 na yan, we're almost there. Dalawa na lang. So since we're after for a sub 0, so meaning, kung may a sub 2 ka na, this time I'm going to let n equals 2. See that? That will be uh, a sub 2, that's simply 2 raised to 2 minus 1, or 1, right? Okay, plus a sub 2 minus 1, or 1. Okay, so from here, so since my a sub 2 ka na, which is 36, that's equal to 2 plus a sub 1. And clearly, yung first term natin is just 36 minus 2 or 34. Okay, now, so since a sub 1 yan, so from there, okay, so we're going to have a sub 1 equals 2 raised to 1 minus 1, and that's 2 raised to 0. Plus, that's what we're looking for. 1 minus 1. So, a sub 0. So, since meron na akong a sub 1, that's 34. That's equal to, we know 2 raised to 0 is 1, plus a sub 0. Therefore, yung a sub 0 natin, okay, it's just 34 minus 1, or 33. There you go. That's the answer in this problem number 7. Okay? So, I hope you learned something on this video. Okay? Once again, uh, just subscribe on my channel. Okay? And learn math with Sir Mark. Okay. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.